Hey guys, it's Dr. Curvy here, and we're back with another video. And today is the first episode of a new series that I'm gonna do. This series is gonna be called Worth the Vibe. So we're gonna start with the first episode with Miss Smithmaker Gwen over here. But before we begin, make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell for more Wild Drift content, um, gameplays, and reactions. So yeah, let's get on with the video. So today we have Mythmaker. No. So before I begin the review, I just want to say this um, idea has been in the process for a long time and only now I decided that I wanted to, you know, create it. But I asked you guys in the last video, uh, my Riven Mythmaker, not Mythmaker, Riven gameplay video, if you guys wanted to and someone said yes, at, at least someone in the comments said yes. So Typical Penguin uh, said, yes, please, I wouldn't mind the skin videos at all and give your honest opinion because I see, because they mentioned um, Crystal Rosona and he was not impressed. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I just ate. That's why I'm a little uh, throaty. Uh, so yeah, Typical Penguin asked to be honest on this uh, stuff and yeah, so whatever he saw in impressions, he didn't really like it when he, <coughs> excuse me. When he got the product so that's what i want to give out because I, I think i'm kind of like the jeffree star of wild drift skins over here honest reviews so let's begin this uh review with myth maker gwen this is also my opinion you know and i'm gonna be really real about it because i want to have value for your money so yeah that was a long intro let's get on with the gwen video look at that I mean, we love a voice acting over here. I mean, the model looks great. I mean, we can't really judge the, the 3D intro without saying it's already great, you know? It's already great. We It's pretty. Love the details on the outfit. We look at the... Um, we see like a... I don't know. <laughs> an ombre effect on, her, on the back of her this, this cape thing. See, it turns a little darker and turns to light uh, orange. Pale tone. Well, I keep burping. And then when you zoom her in, she changes because this is her uh, second skill. I mean, white, a lot of white, too much white. I mean, I don't know if my brightness is on, uh, my screen is on, what's this mode called? Like the eye shield mode because I don't like the white light. And it's a lot of white. This kind of looks like an off-white, yellow off-white, white hair, uh, gray white. I kind of like this version of the outfit more. I mean, the model is really great. Her hair, shiny. They're learning how to shine in this engine. The back with the bunny, a lot of bunny references. Now, I said this in my reaction for the patch 4.0 skins. I don't know, the, I, I know it's a bunny theme, but I don't know, whenever I see the bunny theme, it looks Christmassy, right? Maybe because it was, when I saw it first, it was fresh off the, uh, you know, Christmas. So I was like, you know. Got the recall. Okay, very unique. A lot of scissoring. It's not bad. And there's a little cute little bunny rabbit over here on her sword. Which is so weird, by the way. That it's only perching there, that paper rabbit. Um, I haven't really seen it properly if it comes with the animation. You know, the snip. Uh, when she snips, but we'll see. This... Uh, home guard is kind of half ass. I mean, she's sitting on it, but girl, I, I know she runs with her base stuff, but it's kind of this model animation looks like Crystal Rose Luxes, though, right? I know she's on the swing, but literally, that's the same motion, though. It's so weird. And later on, I'm gonna talk about like a lot of the legendary skins, most of the sound effects have reused assets, you know. And you know, I'm gonna give you to that later when I mean, in this skin, not really. Uh, Chroma Crash Samira has a lot of reused assets from Space Groove. Space Groove based on the sound effects and stuff, not really the VFX. You'll you'll see what I mean when I get to a certain point in the Gwen uh, video. But yes, most of the legendaries are kind of reused assets sound effect wise to an epic skin on PC that is not on Wild Drift yet. So let's continue. Okay, let's look at the auto attack. I mean, her motion is fine. Well, you can really see the animation of the the, the scissor over here. So when she auto attacks, it's gone. The scissor is gone. I guess that's only for the home guard. 
I mean, it's a bunny. Wait, I need to see that slow. There's a VFX over here, simple, uh, emphasizing that hit. I swear I saw a bunny in that animation. See over here, you see the animation? So this effect changes depending on the collision of the effect. Slam, slam. There's also a bunny rabbit over here. Um, let's see if it... There's some flowers over here. I'm gonna play this at a pretty low speed. Okay, like this. So yeah. Okay, so there it is again. There's some sparkles here. Look, see those green sparkles? That resembles the scissor. And the sparkles over here. I mean, at least they're getting, they're adding more stuff into it because if you look back at like Hideo Seraphine, it wasn't really much. Maybe they updated that skin later on. Because Evelyn, remember, if, you, if, if you're if you a skin collector, you know that KDA Evelyn on Wild Rift didn't have her uh, passive music until like 3.1. And that was like a year after her skin came out. So yeah, and that was when Wild Rift was just releasing globally. So, uh, auto attack animation looks great. Uh, you see the swirl there. Typical Riot um, craftsmanship, I guess, when they come to their skins. Yep. Auto attack animation is different. But then again, with Crystal Rose Lux, for example, what can you do with someone holding scissors? You can't really. She's she's not she's not lifting the scissor. You know, she's not like she's not Irelia. So it's really hard to make animations unique, especially when it's the same weapon. And I'm sure people at Riot get burned out by that. Okay, there it is again. There's a little smoke uh, opacity thing there. You see this here over here. Once again, the flowers, not bad. Yeah, the 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 paper cuttings over here. You see that. I thought it was I was gonna say roses, but that's the paper cutting. Okay, second skill, slow. <clears throat> okay, so you see there's effects there. We see some potpourri over here. We see like a motion blur. We see a motion blur effect here because of the <laughs> the transition. How did she change her outfit so fast? Oh, she immediately she just turns white immediately. There's no like transformation. I mean, it's a phone game, but you I think you can do some little you know schmack like magic. I don't know what I said. It's a magic. Yes, woo! We love that motion blur. Girl, my editing is shaking. Um, so we love the design there. Wait, I need to turn up the volume. Excuse me if it's getting loud because I need to hear. Oh, I love that. Do you see how that bunny? That bunny was just a transition. Because that's not really the end effect. The end effect is over here and it fades in. Because this, this, this bunny will go away and fade in too. Yeah, it will fade away. But yeah, hear the sounds. Very, I know it's in 0 0.75 speed, but it's very, you know, Chinese Lunar New Year. You can also see that there is a <clears throat> bunny over here. This is giving, you know, I'm gonna say it again. Star Guardian Seraphine, I guess that's a right sting. You can see the opacity once again, you know, that shading effect. Remember when I said in, if, well, I don't know if you're new. I don't know if you're an old subscriber, but in my Star Guardian review comparison, it's, it, they do that effect, that opacity effect. It's in every skin that they do. I guess it's easier to do it, I guess. But let's see more of it. You can see more of the jade. Ooh, you can see more of the jade effect over here. You see that? And more of the paper cuttings. They're really reusing a lot of these at the same type. These the same paper cuttings. I mean that's fine, I guess. If it's if you're not gonna see it a lot, and, but and if you want to make more effects, then you can reuse them. I'm not really judging. I'm not a programmer. Um, but yeah, oh, we love that. Oh, you see that the border? It turns into like a pretty gold, and then it fades out. It fades out. That's nice. Wait, let's see that fade out once again. I mean, it's not bad. It fades out like that. Um, I want to see what did. How did the animation enter in? Okay, that's pretty. That's really pretty. I I really like this thing. This transition over here. That's really nice. Okay, there's some. The next part is the third skill, and I'm gonna come give you a comparison over here. Let's play this in normal speed, okay? If you can't hear it, uh, watch. Go to separate tab and watch. Compare the the third skill with Space Groove and Myth Maker. Okay, so this is the third skill. We're gonna judge the sound effects. I'm talking about the sound effects. I'm gonna cut to something else. Now this is Space Groove Gwen. Hear the sound effects of the auto attack. Now, I don't know about you guys, but 
Doesn't that sound the same? It sounds the same. Wanna do it again? Wanna hear it again? It's subtle here, but you can hear it. You can hear the sound effect properly. It's like, this is the thing. If Chroma Crash, <clears throat> there's a reason why Space Groove Samira is not in Wild Rift right now. Because of Chroma Crash Samira, it literally, I feel like, I'm not, I don't know about it, but I feel like the sound effects are recycled. There's nothing wrong about being recycled, uh, of skins being recycled, but lazy. I mean, you're gonna put the skin in Wild Rift anyway, you know. People are gonna notice. Ugh. That's, that's kind of, a, that's kind of the thing that turns me off about the skin a little. I mean, I don't own Space Crew, but if you're like a, a Gwen, uh, casual or, um, I'm not gonna say one trick, because you already probably have this skin. But you know, I don't know. It's just like a, it's like having, I don't know, quality girl. You, it's a legendary skin, not an epic skin. Why did you use assets? Everything should be new. What what happened to the exclusive to wild drifting? I don't know. It's just kind of like you're you're paying a lot of money just to have an ass created skin. I guess I don't know. Her third skill animation is kind of similar, but her walking is different. <clears throat> She's skipping because I think in her base. Let's look at her base. Third skill is space group. Yeah, she's she's kind of not skipping. <laughs> and she's it's her her walking here is more prominent, I guess. And she spins. There's something about right and there's spins. I mean, think of Crystal Rose uh, Lux's first skill. I mean, in terms of the animation of the snipping. Oh, look how that scissor becomes huge. It's very <clears throat> powerful. And she kind of like leaps over. Um, I want to see the VFX. She needs to do it again. She does that. There's the same effects there and she spins around like whoop. More of those paper cuttings and yeah. The, the, the major caveat I have in this skin so far is that third skill though. Okay, that's her ultimate. Let's play this in 0.75 now. We love a pretty skin. So you can see that her hand is kind of like enlarged, but then again, that's how it works, I guess. You know, in even in League PC, but that's not a disadvantage. Don't worry about that. That's just how skins are to make the effect animation more effective. So, okay, so there's a needle right here. <clears throat> The detail of the needle is pretty nice. I mean, the typical gold over here that we see throughout her skin. And then it turns into a slight orange over here. The hit spark is one of the paper cuttings that we see in this one, if you can see it. Um, yeah. Wait, that was really fast. But let's look at the model first. I mean, typical, they just change her color rings to make her look that, uh, they added like some effect on her to, to make her look like that and then the circle this the circle of the scissor i mean it's fine not much oomph yeah that's typical gwen stuff she's glowing gold let's look at the vfx one more time so there it is there's vfx when you throw it let's see it going in it's not bad i mean the same if the that there's some there's, there's a trail over here and then once again, we got that bunny logo symbolizing your, the bunny. I mean, it's not bad. And you can see the thing glowing more and more. And the thing is getting brighter. If you notice that the, the jade is getting brighter for all to it. So see, look at the color. It's yellow. And then kind of greenish. That's the change I noticed. And then I think the VFX changes as well. Yes, even in here, it changes if you guys saw. Like, it's not green at first, but at the end, it turns green. As you can see over here. See, yeah, you see that? It's slowly turning green. <clears throat> I mean, it already turned green. What am I saying? But yeah, let's do it again. So yeah, it's still orangish with a little green. And then at the last point, it's green. Ish. Green, orange, yellow. But yeah, that's what we've seen in the skin so far okay so i mean there's a lot of reusing but then again 
that's how riot is in terms of wild drift because you can really limit the engine we can't really be <clears throat> judgmental on that some things work out and if you're playing wild drift not on a tablet like me though <clears throat> if you're playing wild drift like uh on a small phone it looks really high quality <clears throat> i'm not gonna lie about that that's a good quality skin i mean even the crit animation has some <clears throat> oomph and then her death animation is obviously still her as a doll. Wait. Okay, I mean... I know she turns into a doll in her base. You know, we can... We can have something new, I guess. But yeah, that was the skin review. And to sum it up, my thoughts. I mean, this skin... I'm gonna mute the audio. This skin has the value meal, you know. Um, but... Should you get it though? The thing is, you should just get this if you've dabbled with Gwen Jungle or Baron Lane and you wanna, you know, commit to like trying to play her more often. Because the only reason why you're getting a skin is if you play the champion often. In terms of Mythmaker Gwen though, it's actually a nice skin. I mean, you can, I mean, pause over here. We can see so many details of the skin. Riot's been improving a lot on the 3D stuff. If you look at Steel Legion Lux, for example, they kind of didn't make an effort of it. But yeah, Gwen is great. I mean, they could have done a little bit more polishing with the third skill. But I think Gwen is great. Gwen is great. I mean, and like I said, you know, we can't really judge because you can't really be creative in terms of animation. So I think the Wild Rift team did what they can. So yeah, but this 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 third skill is really bothering me though. What do you guys think of this Mythmaker Gwen skin? Do you have it? What do you think of it? Skins will feel different when you play it. Um, to be real, when I saw uh, Mythmaker Siphon, I was kind of hesitant, and then suddenly I made that video about skin buff. It kind of it it feels great. If it feels great, then you shouldn't really be you know denying of not getting it. To end the video for today, do I think the skin is worth it? Yes who should get it i mean anyone who loves gwen as a champion not really lane based because you can play uh, you can play gwen on baron and jungle um i don't really play gwen i would love to get the skin just as a skin so you know we have some people like that i'm not i'm sure there's people like that who just buy skin for the sake of the skin um new voice acting great it, it brings gwen with a deeper voice um you know lunar new year theme it's very um it, it's gonna feel special when the Lunar New Year comes to like, oh, I remember when I got this skin like that. Um, uh, if you, the people who shouldn't get it is if you're never gonna touch Gwen, to be honest. Um, but then again, is it worth your money in terms of like quality? I think so, yes. Like, but only the thing, the only thing I can say is that last part, that third skill. That was the Myth Maker Gwen review for my new series Worth a Buy. And I hope you guys liked it. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to the notification bell for whenever I upload a new video. If you want more worth the buy videos, comment below on who should I do next. Something current, uh, someone who just came out years ago or something. Let me know because um, the product could be different from now, you know, because of that stuff. So yeah, make sure you guys uh, join my Discord. Link is in the description below. And make sure you donate to my PayPal slash coffee if you want to support the channel in the long run. But yeah. That was the Worth a Buy Mythmaker Gwen review video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.